Hello, today I'm going to talk about geometric progressions or geometric series. Eh? So, now what is a geometric series? So, here are some few examples here. Eh? Here are two examples. So, as you can see at the first example, 2, 4, 8, and 16. So, the next number should be 32. The next, 64. So on and so forth. These are the powers of 2, as you can see. All of these numbers are multiplied by 2. So, 2 times 2, we get 4. And 4 times 8, we get 4 times 2, we get 8. 8 times 2, we get 16. And so on and so forth. So, this times 2 is the common difference. As geometric progression states that it is a sequence of numbers which have the common ratio of r. So, the times 2 is the common ratio. So, how do we get the common ratio? By, it is by dividing the next term and the previous term. So, 4 divided by, by 2, we get 2. Okay? It applies for each number. If you try the ratio, ratio method, you get your common ratio. So, let's say if you want to find the common ratio of this sequence by using this example, if we use 32 and 16, we can also find the common ratio of 2. So, for the next example, 150, 25, 12.5 all of this as you can observe there's a, another pattern here so all of this 100 times half we get 50 50 times half we get 25 25 times half we get 12.5 and this is called the ge uh, geometric series or progressions so as you can see applying the ratio formula using 50 over 100 we get one half we get a half here eh? so before we continue before we progress i would like to say that the first term is a is equal to for the first example and the second is 100 so how do we find the nth term of a series, the geometric series here. Yeah? It is given by Tn equals a r raised to the power of n minus one. Okay, how do we apply this formula? Firstly, we use the, let, let's use the first example here. So, we just, let's say we want to find the 10 term of the first example. We use, we write, write it down, to notate it, T10, and we want to find the 10 term, so we plug in the numbers here. So, A, we got the first, first term of this example, of this geometric progression, is 2, the common ratio is, again, 2, and we get the N, N is the number of term minus one so as we simplify things down we get we get the, the number one zero two four okay let us proceed with the sum of the geometric series as you can see there are two formulas here so the first formula Sn, we denote sum of the geometric series as Sn. So the first formula only applies when the ratio is, the common ratio is larger than one. So Sn equals to A bracket R to raised to the power of N minus one over R minus one. Only applies, remember, only applies when R is larger than one. The second formula for this Sn is A bracket the whole uh, bracket 1 minus R to the power of N over 1 minus R. 
only when r is less than 1. We use the first example to prove, to uh, show how to apply this formula here, Sn. So let's say we want to use, we want to find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series in example 1. We just plug in the numbers as usual. So for the first example, we get a equals 2. Bracket, remember the bracket, the whole thing, whole expression. R, R raised to the power of n minus 1 over, again, R, the common ratio, minus 1. Okay, we can get the answer of 2046. Okay. Now let us proceed with the sum to infinity. Okay. Sum to infinity, we can, it is derived from the second formula. Okay. Sum of infinity only occurs when r is in between negative 1 and 1 most probably a fraction, a proper fraction. As you can see, we derive the sum of infinity from the second formula. If any ratio that is of this range of number is raised to an infinitely high number, n equals infinity, r is in this range, the r will be zero. Or we call it infinitesimal. It's very small, almost reach zero. You don't believe me? You try out on your calculator yourself. You type in the fraction, half, one third, raised to a very large number. What will you get? You will get most probably zero. Okay, so the sum of infinity, sum to infinity, is denoted, uh, is the general formula is A first, first number over 1 minus r, the common ratio. Okay. So this is a very typical question in always come out in examinations. So express the recurring decimal 0 0.83333. I use these two dots to denote that 3 is recurring. That means it's 0 0.83333 as a fraction in its simplest form. How do we start this how do we start? How do we break it down? So, firstly, we re rewrite this expression as 0 0.8 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003 plus 0 0.0003 plus and uh, dot 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 three dots to and to denote that it is a continuous pattern. Eh? So, afterwards, as you can see, this forms a very similar pattern. This forms a geometric progression. Okay, so we can apply using this formula we apply inside. But first, let us digress. How do we find the R for this geometric series? So, R, we let, write it aside, R equals to 0 0.03 over 0 0.3. What will we get is 0 0.1. Okay, so as you can see, we use, we have the R now and we have the A also. A is 0 0.03 as if is the first term here. So we have 0 0.8. So we just plug in the formula here. A is 0 0.03 over 1 minus R here, 0 0.1. And what will we get? Okay, so we will get, we will get a number 
we'll get a fraction. We need to write a fraction starting from this point here. So we can write as 0 0.8 plus 1 over 30. Okay, what is 0 0.8? Okay, it's 4 over 5 plus 1 over 30. And by simple addition, we get 5 over 6 as our last number. So, thank you for your time. Hope you have learned something today. If you want to try out, if you want to recap, you can simply cover the answer and try it yourself before you do the questions. And there will be a slight homework here. For the example two, you can, you can try it out. You can play with it using the second formula to find stand term. Okay, comment the answers below, comment section. So leave a like, thank you, and hope you learn something today. Thank you.